With that, why are market cycles important? So let's get back to the point of three or four stocks in the, uh, you know, uh, follow the market. So if three or four stocks follow the general movement of the market, it's usually a good idea to have a system kind of that's based around the market. Yes, there are traders that say completely, you know, do not look at the markets, do not look at the indexes, do not look at any of that. But as st- that, those are stage three traders, right? Those are people that have gone through the paces of stage one and two to, to get to that state where now they know that if the number of setups is high, then they can go long in the markets. That that still at the end of the day is a market cycle system, right? If there are, they, they have a process, they see 15 or 20 setups in the market. Well, the number of setups is now high. They feel that the market cycle is now in a positive uptrend, right? Whereas if they see a low number of setups in the market, that's when they get cautious or stay on the sidelines and go cash. That's still a market cycle system at the end of the day. You could call it or frame it whatever you want, or you could say, I don't track the indexes. But at the end of the day, it's a cyclical, repetitive system that allows them to increase exposure as they see increased number of setups or decrease exposure as they see less number of setups. Some people do this through breadth metrics, sentiment metrics, seasonality. We'll get into all of that uh, later on in the presentation. So essentially what a market cycle is, is it's human psychology and trading that it's a relationship between those two components. If patterns repeat themselves and a market that we, you know, traders traded in 2010, 15, 1999, 2000, they always are relating that type of situation. They're relating that type of situation back to the current state. So if patterns repeat themselves for the most part and human psychology has remained the same and on, on, a, on a general basis, that's what the market cycle is trying to capture, right? It captures both the psychological component and the technical aspect of uh you know, swing trading, position trading, or even day trading. So components of a market cycle, there are three different components that we'll, we'll kind of get into and then the seven different steps to build your own. The three different components and how I break it down is first is you have to have a trend definition or identification system. So there has to be as simple as, you know, it could be, you know, uh, the S&P moves above, the 10 MA, I sh- I define that as an uptrend and the S&P moves below the 10 MA, I define that as a downtrend. When S&P chops around the 10 MA, I define that as neutral. That's the very basics of, you know, you have to have some sort of clarity on what your trend is or how you define trend. And as we'll get into in, in these later slides, you will then refine that definition over a span of time for you to make sure that uh, you know, you have some clarity on when you should increase exposure and when you should decrease or go short or cash. Um, so that's the, one of the first and most important point, points, having clarity on your time frame, what your time frame is, and identifying the trend on your time frame. And that's the second most important part. And if you don't have that written down, definitely have that written down to make sure that you it aligns with how you trade. It aligns with your thought process. It aligns you with your over, you know, lines you up with your overall system. At the end of the day, the second component of a market cycle is we'll get into the cycle count. And what the cycle count does is it it captures the repetitive nature of the market with respect to your time frame and your trend identification or definition that you've set forth for yourself. So you'll see patterns where you'll see a cycle of 10 to 20 days to the upside, see a cycle of 10 to 20 days to the downside. And this is always based on your trend definition. And the more cycles, the more market cycles that you trade based on your trend definition, the better you will get at anticipating seeing patterns, seeing that psychological and technical components come together, right? And and build yourself that market cycle system so that you can move from stage one to two and two to three as traders. The third component that we have is the journal. So journaling, visualizing, seeing what your market cycle system is doing is probably the most important part for you to identify what the visual component, you know, what, how your system's working so you can make those incremental improvements from market cycle to market cycle or multiple market cycles to the the next market 
cycle. This component allows you to improve your overall system, see patterns visually. And when you see those things visually and you sleep on it, you go back, you know, so you sleep, wake up, your brain is wired in a way to see patterns in the markets. And that's mostly the technical aspect where you, then you can get into what people call, hey, the market is extended. There's a, you could you could define what extended is for you. Hey, the market is now seeing a stress test. What does that mean? You can anticipate what is going to happen instead of interpreting. So there's two stages. We'll get into that a little bit later. But as stage one and two traders, you want to interpret what's going on and then act. Stage three traders interpret and anticipate at the same time as to what they see, where, where, where the puck is going, basically. They're not sitting here and saying, hey, today this happened. They're saying today this happened and tomorrow I expect this or that to happen. And they're one, you know, a one step ahead. And that's why they're called stage three traders. The last component, you'll see the cyclical and repetitive nature. You'll see a pattern very easily. Doesn't matter what trend identification system you have. Uh, and a very good example of that is, you know, Stan Weinstein puts the 30 MA and now defines stage one, two, and three and, and four. Simple move above st the 30 MA stage two. Uptrend, chop around the 30 MA, stage three, down, downward trending 30 MA, stage four. Again, cyclical repetitive nature. And that's essentially what stage analysis is at the end of the day is a market cycle system. So can I jump when, in real quick yes, on the anticipation concept? Yeah, the stage three traders are anticipating and interpreting in real time. And then they're coming back to what they anticipated and checking how that aligned with what actually happened and that discrepancy the the difference between their anticipation their the anticipated like pattern or or market action versus you know what actually happened that gives them information that then they plug back into their system and, and gives them valuable information that they can use going forward so it's a constant cycle of anticipate see what happened interpret compare it to what you were expecting to happen and then you can easily identify those expectation breakers, but you have to build up to that point. You start with interpretation, coming up with clear rules, and then you build up uh, to, to being able to have that skill.